The family of a murder victim stunned after the state's highest court overturned a conviction reopening painful wounds for the loved ones of Monique Bow. You may recall that Bao was a local real estate agent and mother of two, terrorized and killed more than four years ago. Just last week, the state Supreme Court tossed out the convictions for one of the key players who was serving a life sentence in prison. Tonight, for the first time since the ruling, the Bao family is opening up with our Paul Bloom about their journey of healing and where they want this case to go from here. I love you, Mom, and I forever love you. Growing up without their mother, Monique Bao's young daughter still healing, attempting to fill the giant hole in their family with these gravesite visits and birthday celebrations. When you look at her oldest daughter and you're like, wow, like you are Monique all over again. As part of their grieving process, the girls and their gammy dreamed up a children's adventure book based on the purple pillow their mom used to lie on while reading to them. Imagining a magical journey. It's really hard because sometimes, like, I just grab her and I just hug her because I'm like, I can picture this just, you know, being Monique and hugging her. Sherelle Singfeld is Monique's cousin. As kids, together they were known as Thelma and Louise. It's not fair to not have her here with us. It's, she was taken from us, she was stolen. More than four years later, and Sherelle's heart remained shattered. The loss of someone so close, so special. She just had this confidence and glow about her that you just wanted. Like, it was so infectious. Like, you just wanted to have whatever of whatever dose of Monique. Like, what a... This is the murder of Monique Bach. Monique Latrice Liana Bach was born October 17, 1991 in Minneapolis, Minnesota to Wanda Williams, father unknown. Monique Bao is described as being a loving mother who always put her children first. Her co-workers also describe her as a beautiful person who was kind and compassionate to everyone. She was extremely driven and with a joy to work with. On this December 31st, 2019, police discovered 28-year-old Monique near death due to a multiple gunshot wounds. She had also been tortured and had her arms bound by tape. When officers arrived at the crime scene, they transport Monique to a nearby hospital. However, she succumbed to her injuries and was pronounced dead shortly after arriving. A law enforcement investigated Monique's murder. They discovered she was kidnapped during a house showing appointment earlier that same Tuesday. Tuesday. Cops also learned the appointment was a trap to set up her abduction. The plot to kidnap Monique was orchestrated by five co-conspirators. The conspirators planned to torture Monique into assisting them with their scheme against her boyfriend, John Michelle Moho. An unnecessary attempt on Michelle Moho's life was made later on the same day of Monique's death. The five conspirators in Monique homicide were identified as Cedric Berry, Barry Davis, Shantae Davis, Elsa Sagara and Lyndon Wiggins. On January 6, 2020, Cedric Berry was arrested for kidnapping and second degree murder. On January 17 of the same year, Elsa Sagar was charged with felony kidnapping, aiding and abetting premeditated first degree murder, and aiding and abetting attempt premeditated second degree murder. On February 6, 2020, Shantae Davis became the third suspect in, in Monique's death. She was charged with one count of aiding an offender and being an accomplice to a crime after the fact. On May 8, 2020, 
2nd, Barry Davis was arrested and charged with first degree murder. On November 12th of the same year, London Wiggins was charged with aiding and abetting second degree murder and aiding and abetting kidnapping. On June 5th, 2021, both Barry and Davis were found guilty of aiding and abetting first degree felony murder while committing kidnapping. For their roles in Monique homicide, Barry and Davis was sentenced to life in prison without parole on July 12th of 2021. On September 21, 2021, Sagara was found guilty and sentenced to life in prison without parole. In 2024, her sentence was overturned and she is faced to set a new trial in the case of Monique Ball. On June 3rd, 2022, Wiggins was convicted of all, all charges and sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. On October 19, 2022, Shantae Davis was found guilty of aiding an offender. She was sentenced to 90 days in prison in order to pay $570 worth of fines. While honoring Monique's memory, her cousin Cheryl Stingfield told media outlet, it's just not fair to not have her here with us. She was taken from us as she was stolen. I can speak confidently on behalf of my entire family. It does not get easier. Even though time goes by, the years go by, it does not get easier because every moment we think about her. She just had this confidence and glow about her that you just wanted. It was so infectious, like you just wanted to have whatever dose of Monique. It is very sad that this young lady lost her life over foolishness and that something that had nothing to do with her at all, she was just going to do her job and she was kidnapped and tortured and suffered the worst kind of death because of an association. Most of all, I feel sorry for her two young girls that would never experience how sweet and loving their mother truly was. My prayers and condolences goes out to Monique, two young girls, and the rest of her family. May her beautiful soul rest in peace. Until next time on the Meaningful Talk Crime Doc, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch up with you guys later in the comment section.